What's up everyone? So what you see in front of me are all the parts required to build a brand new Alienware M11X R3. Now for those who don't know, the M11X R3 was the third and last revision of the 11 inch Alienware laptops. It was discontinued a long time ago. I think it was around 2012, somewhere around there. But anyways, I wanted to buy one used because I had it before twice and I sold them and I kind of missed it. And the used prices are not that great and the condition that I saw all of them were pretty bad so I looked up the parts and I was able to source everything needed to build one so today we're gonna build one so hopefully it works out so let's go ahead and unbox all this stuff and then start the process all right so these are all the parts this is the bottom cover USB board the hinge cover hard drive cage SSD palm rest that is the keyboard screw kit speakers RAM that I already had Wi-Fi card I already had that's the SATA adapter motherboard, bottom cover, and then the LCD assembly. So we're going to start off by getting the bottom assembly and the speakers and the motherboard. All right, so the very first thing you want to do is grab your speakers and they're going to go like this. So one goes here, like so, and the other one will go right here, like so. And then you just route this wire like this. Now, we're going to have an issue because these require the really big screws and Nothing in my kit is gonna be thick enough to fix that. So we're gonna use some electrical tape to kind of tape this around and then screw it down. All right, so I put the tape there and I put some tape here to hold it down as well. Okay, next is the motherboard, which goes in like this. So this is gonna go on top like this. Next we have one, two, three, four screws. I'm using the M2 by five. I'm not sure if that's even the right one, but I'm just using it. Next, we're gonna install the IO board. It goes like this. And then this clips onto the motherboard. And then this plugs in here. This time I'll be using the M2 by four screws. Here's one, two, three. All right, so now we're gonna install the display assembly. So these are the cables we need. Okay, now we're gonna put the screws here. And the size is M2.5 by six. Next, we're gonna go ahead and connect the display cable. So now we're left with this cable here, and that cable will go right here. All right, with that logo wire connector, you're gonna insert it like this, and just bring it down, and then you're just gonna slowly clip everything in. There's a wire here, and there's a wire here, and then there's one, two, three screws that need to go here, and the screws are labeled right here on what size they are. All right, next we have our keyboard. And the first thing you wanna do is connect these two wires. Okay, next you wanna hit two screws here. You wanna use the smallest ones you have. Mine actually might be a little too long. Let's see how it ends up here. Next, we're gonna install this bracket. To install it, you basically just snap it in. Next, we need to put this, 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 this. And then there's here. Here, 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 and here. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and install the memory. So install the bottom one first. It will go like this. You just push it in like this. And just click. Next, we're gonna install the wireless LAN card. To do that, you must first route this wire like this through here. Just route them all through here. And then we're gonna take that off. So this is the Wi-Fi card. We're gonna put it in this slot like this. All right, next we're gonna install the hard drive brackets and I'll be using an SSD. So you just connect it like this. And then you're gonna screw these in. There's also a connector that goes here. So you're gonna go ahead and attach this like that. Then you're just gonna put this in here like this. And then finally, we have the battery, which will go in like this. Finally, we're gonna put this in. Put all these screws. Okay, let's actually plug it in and see if it even works. And there it is, all assembled. The IO on this thing is pretty impressive. I mean, there's even a SIM card slot. On the other side, we have two headphone jacks, so you can share it with your significant other dual usb 3 ports and that's about it over here and there we go it is done nice keyboard red lighting we have our lcd display 720p 
touchpad has a honeycomb texture to it. You probably can't really see that. And we got our Windows 7 on here. I installed Windows 7 because all of my computers have Windows 10. And I just wanted to have one computer that's Windows 7. And this one was the perfect choice. So let's go ahead and talk about this laptop now. Alright, so let's do a little talking about this laptop because it has been one heck of a ride. So I've been trying to build this laptop since March. This video has been posted in May. It took months for me to get every single part I needed because the first motherboard I ordered was the wrong one. They sent me the R2, which is not what I wanted. And the second motherboard I ordered, it came bent. So after that, I kind of just gave up because shipping from and to China just takes forever. I ended up buying a broken, well it wasn't broken, it was just a beat up M11X R3, like the full M11X R3. I tore it apart, took out the motherboard, and then put it in this computer. So then this computer was made. So it's hard to find the parts to build it yourself. I'll put a link in the description to every single part you need. There might be one or two missing, you're going to have to try and find those if you want to build them from scratch like I did. However. What I do recommend is look on eBay and maybe some forums or something and try and find one that's banged up but works and then order things like the chassis, the LCD assembly, the keyboard, and then your computer is basically like new. So that's what I would do. And you can also do this with the M14X, M17X, M18X, any of those laptops. If you can find all the parts, you can build it. But with that said, I think it was worth it to me to build this. Because this laptop's very unique, it's brand new besides the motherboard, and it's really nice. It's really small, the smallest alienware that I've ever owned. I've owned these before. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you need any help building these, uh, let me know in the comments. But with that said, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.